Switching gears. The microbiome, your gut. My favorite topic since we started practice. This is our second brain. This is 80% of our immune system. Metabolizes 50% of our hormones. In fact, it's so fascinating. It just never ceases to amaze me. Had a patient come in last week in full on anxiety mode, had been going on for about a month. And he says, Doc, the only time that I get about a half hour relief and it's total relief is when I pass gas. <laughs> and I just had this moment. <laughs> One, please don't do it now. <laughs> Number two, what if he told this to just any ordinary doctor? They would look at him as like, are you out of your mind? When you really think about it, it makes sense. If you think about it in a functional medicine kind of way. And this is why the gut is so fascinating. Because the colon, just this descending part right here, houses 93% of your serotonin, the main brain neurotransmitter. Obviously he was changing it to some degree whenever he passed gas and it gave him immediate relief from anxiety. Right? If you understand these things, it gets to be really fun medicine. If you don't, you think all oh, your patients are crazy. <laughs> so, what caught my attention with the microbiome, University of Amsterdam, the Free University, did this fascinating study on a microbiome and obesity. And they found that with identical twins, one being obese, one being not obese. If they did a fecal transplant, so the bacteria from our colon, from the skinny one into the obese one, uh, the obese one would normalize in weight within weeks. Their prediabetes or diabetes would be gone. And that's folks with no lifestyle changes. It's unreal. They were able to duplicate this with mice and then, better yet, if we transplant, and I would never want to volunteer for this one, from the obese <coughs> identical twin to the skinny one, the reverse would happen. You think maybe the microbiome has a role to play in obesity. It's very powerful. So we've been playing with this and found the bug and I'm sure there's going to be more, but the bug that is partially responsible for this. Bifidobacterium animalis lactis B420. I put up this slide because it so ably demonstrates what you have to look for in probiotics. Most probiotics will only have the genus and the species. Folks, within that, there could be hundreds. You've got to have the subspecies and the strain. Then you know you're getting a good probiotic. Okay? There's so much genetic drift and so much variation, you don't know what you're getting. This is the one that has the research on it and has been published as of 2012. And I have found gives you automatic weight loss, waist circumference lost, and a big finish study showed prevents that slow but gradual weight gain that happens as we age. It, helps with that significantly. And you can see through the clinical trials that we had a significant change in trunk fat mass. Fascinating, right? This is the first probiotic for weight loss that I know of that has been clinically proven. There's a lot of claims out there, but this one has a science behind it with multiple studies. It's called ultraflora control. Just one a day, and that's where I see the results. Even with non-compliant patients, the ones that do this, we see weight loss. So some tools to use, fast nourish, that ultraflora control. One that I did not mention, that is exogenous ketone salts. Very popular in the world of professional athletics because it really induces ketosis within 15 minutes, giving you much better performance athletically or mentally. 
This is a very powerful tool that I, I used this weekend. All my good plans for this week were just shattered. I've been in ketosis now for months. And it all went this week. Family came to visit. Oh, you got to try this. And there was these special events. And everything just happened. We had our, my wife and I had our 33rd anniversary. And it just, it wasn't happening. I says, you know, I'm going to look like a total monk. Uh, so, so what did I do? Life happens, right? I kept my keto adaption going by using exogenous ketone salts. I cheated. It works. Professional athletes will use this an hour before competition to put them into a ketosis so they have that fat fuel to run on it. It's very fascinating how it works. I want to tell you, we've got lots of short-term studies on this. We do not have any long-term studies on this. That's what's in the back of my head, but I think there's sufficient evidence for those of us that have trouble getting into the ketosis state, and those of us that are obese, sometimes it can take up to six to eight weeks to get there. You can get there within 15 minutes using this. What is it? DBC Fit is the other tool, and Blake would more than welcome you. I had one of our doctors kind of walk in a little crooked today. I don't know what you did to her. <laughs> but uh, she was very pleased with the intensity of the workout. Yeah, so that was, that was really good. So, what motivates you? Do you want to be at 80% of capacity the last year of your life? Because that's what statistically is the norm from times in history. This chronic disease that you see, the chronic obesity that you see all around you is not normal aging, is not normal. Just because it's happening all around us doesn't mean it's the norm. A little bit like autism, it's now one in 66 kids, right? That's not normal, it was one in 22,000 when I first started. But we just kind of accept these things. Do not accept any of that. I want you to be like that 105 year old Frenchman that's just breaking records. I think he's having a whole lot more fun than most 75 year olds, don't you think? So what motivates you? Write it down. Use the tools that are out there. There's lots of good tools and it starts sometimes with just stopping pop. Some of my research references if you want to do some more digging into this. and. Next month's seminars on genetics. Powerful, powerful topic. I'm one of about 3,000 people in the world that has their entire genome sequenced. When you sequence your whole genome, it means they have to, to do it 30 times over. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big deal, and I do it for research. Um, so if you find out about a certain gene and it's affected to this, then I can pull it out of my own genome and study its effect and why and how. And um, it's, it's an absolutely fascinating topic, and we're starting to learn how to apply pieces of that. So you don't have to get your entire genome sequence, but we can do pieces of it, a little bit like 23andMe does, um, and other companies, and how do we apply that to your health. So Dr. Stacy Fisher will be, uh, will be uh, talking about that very cool topic. It's very cutting edge, like today was. And uh, uh, if you would like to be there, just... Uh, just sign up for that one. I, uh, I really look forward to, uh, to hearing that topic. So, covered a lot. There are shortcuts, okay, and one of which Dr. Stacy has already done, and it's called Prolong. And Prolong is a company that sells these kits. We find that we could improve on it, that's why we've done all the work. Uh, it's about 300 bucks for a five-day supply, which I think is overpriced. Um, uh, Dr. Stacy has done that one and had a good experience with that as well. Very similar to what, uh, what, what you found. Um, we're starting to um, look at what happens at day two, three, that feeling that you get, and concluding that, um, uh, that uh, supplementation with extra potassium and magnesium and some other salts uh, can really uh, b uh, benefit there, so that's got to become part of our Fast Nourish program. 
but that's that's something that you can look at as well. Um, uh, this should be done under guidance, uh, it really should, because there's some pretty dramatic changes that can occur and we have to be able to move with those changes uh, to make sure that we stay on top of it. Uh, and that's why um, uh, wherever you see this being done, they say caution and all, all of this, because the body does go through dramatic changes. That Russian doctor that I showed uh, has supervised uh, more than 20,000 cases uh, of uh, fast mimicking diet and all out fasting. Uh, some of them going over a month, over a month, and um, has not had a single adverse reaction, not one. Um, it's used now also in uh, 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 psychiatric clinics, wards uh, throughout Europe, including Russia, and they have found that uh, with severe depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar, that you're seeing some very phenomenal results. Um, with those cases, we always use MCT oil, um, MCT oil is uh, an oil derived from coconut oil. It's very concentrated and allows you to maintain and uh, get into ketosis much quicker. Uh, so that's something that I certainly supplement myself with as well. And uh, those of my little kids that come in to us with ADHD and ADD, they go on versions of this, including that MCT oil. So these are just some tools that I can throw out, out at you that you can use uh, immediately. So. So between uh, exercise, having things straighten out in your head, ketogenic uh, way of eating with fast mimicking, uh, you can accomplish incredible things. Um, there it is. Chew it over. See what you think. You now have cutting edge information that I suspect no other physician in all of Western Michigan has. So there it is. <laughs> Any questions? What is the exogenous salt? Is that a drink? It is. It's a powder, and it is, key, uh, it is, um, it is a combination of, of certain salts that induces ketosis. It stimulates the liver to do that. So just add water to it and drink mm -hmm. it? Yep. Yep. It's kind of a sweet, salty, weird tasting stuff. Um, and when I, when I do it, uh, I notice the effect within 15 minutes, and it's all of a sudden it's like your brain goes zzzz, and you can think very clearly, and you got the smooth energy. <laughs> And the first, the first time I did this is, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can beat my, one of my records with exercise. And I did. Yeah, it was amazing and it's good for you. It's not like a, you're doing an artificial stimulant. You're just making your body run on the cleanest fuel possible. Yep. You mentioned uh, the ketogenic diet and its effects on athletes. Yes. Have you found any studies on the long-term effects when athletes follow it on a regular basis? I have not. And I've looked long and hard. Uh, the longest studies I have is two years. But I don't know, maybe that is long term. And its effectiveness did not go down because that was my question. That, does, do you adapt to the keto adaption? And uh, it, it appears to be not in the two year study, but that's all I have. And they're pretty small studies. If you want to dig into that further, McMaster University is doing some really good work with that in Ontario. Um, uh, I find it absolutely fascinating. I, I, uh, I, I, I've, I treat a lot of athletes, as you know, and I have seen some of them age incredibly well with no injuries, uh, still able to keep that performance without all that little micro tearing and all that. It, it's amazing how it just gets rid of all of that. Mm. I can even tell you that my uh, brother in the Netherlands, um, he does Spartan races and marathons and he's well into his 60s. He used to be plagued by injuries all the time until I convinced him to convert over to this and stop lying, um, and, and uh, it, it is absolutely amazing how that cleared that up almost immediately. And he's having the time of his life in his mid-60s just performing these crazy stupid Spartan races. Yeah. Yes? So the Nourish program is a lifestyle then that we would be It is. To? That's why it has three phases. One, change. Number two, just lessening it up a little bit. Number three, how you live full time your whole life. And then three phases. You go back to phase one as needed. Phase one as needed for corrective phase, or when we're going to dump into this fasting thing, if you wanted to do that. Or when you bump into. Yeah. You bump into the fasting, and then you go back to phase, phase one before that, and right after. Otherwise, we uh, th that's where we feel we're going to see by far the biggest results. So you, you're doing the phase one of the nourish, then the. Then a five-day fast, five fast, back to f back to phase one, and and Don is going to have it all described in our handout okay. in two weeks. Okay. Yeah, but that gives you a kind of a general overview. 
Yes. Yeah. Do you know how often you said it should be done under guidance? Do you know how often, like, how often someone, if they did this, would need to come in to see you or the somebody else? When you do the fast nourish program? Yeah. Yeah. How often do you have to see us? Yeah, like, well, like, what do you mean under guidance? Like, how often you should? Oh, okay. Don, daughter. can you address that? likely be looking at doing it in five visits with the health coach where we talk about nourish one we'll get you set up and prepared for the first round of the fast mimicking we'll move into nourish two we'll get you set up for round two we'll get you set up for round three so so some some semblance of about five visits over the course of the three months and by the way, I just saw a fascinating study on, uh, on the same topic, also the cystic fibrosis, how they've actually seen some reversal with that as well. Um, so it's just absolutely amazing the stuff that's out there. Another question, yeah. The, uh, would you recommend five days of fasting for somebody that has a leak of adrenals or lower that? Because you're still eating food during that? Yeah, no, we, we, we have made it possible. We, that's why we want the patients to have this ketogenic program in place before doing the fast because it's less of a harsh change. Some of the research that I showed on this fast mimicking diet was again basically standard American diet then doing this and then and to me that's just too much of a change and um, the way we're doing it you could almost do an all-out water fast also if a patient's been with us for long enough and they're they've properly detoxified but that's a whole other program we're not going to go there right now. Mm -hmm. it's That's right. Yeah, it's my number one choice. <coughs> yeah. Yes. How about for patients with chronic fatigue or uh, fibromyalgia? So, a patient with chronic fatigue. So now we're talking liver dysfunction and mitochondrial dysfunction. This is very appropriate as long as proper nourishment is given to two those to those two organ systems. So I put them up in a mitoboost and a, a detox program at the same time. Just basic support. Yep. Yes. Is there a best time of day for the exogenous salts? No, not really. I mean, nope. Totally if independent. You take it at seven o'clock at night. Is it gonna keep you up all night? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I suspect it will help you sleep better. Better sugar regulation. I suspect. Mm-hmm. Yep. You, take every day? you can take it every day. But I use it as a backup system, and I think that's how I'll, I'll recommend it. Mm hmm Yeah. Good. Any other questions? Stunned you into silence? <laughs> Good. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, appreciate that.